Now let me address the student's double question here as far as drug ads and heart murmur audios on the US Millie. Regarding drug ads, my answer is don't worry about them. Number one, it's a waste of fucking time to arbitrarily prepare for them in any way. Okay, what are you going to do? Go off and practice reading random articles from New England Journal of Medicine? I mean, what what's the aim here? Okay, so the notion of preparing for a drug ad question anyway, waste of fucking time. But I know that you're, you're, you're now thinking, well, that's not what I'm referring to, Michael. Like, if I actually see the questions on the real deal, do you have any tips? Okay. And my response is, if you encounter a drug ad question on the US Simile, which will typically be a, uh, a triple question, okay, a series of three questions, and I had them on my step two, I recommend flagging them and then coming back to them, okay? It can take some time to address the mini article that they have there, and you're not going to know how much time is appropriate to allocate uh, to those questions. So I recommend just flagging them on your real deal, flagging the drug ad, finishing the rest of the block, being mindful that you're going to have to return to that drug ad, and then you go back to it and you say, okay, I've got eight minutes, or I only have three minutes, holy shit, and in turn, you can pace accordingly. So that's quickly addressing drug ads, okay? There's no preparation you need to do. And then on the real deal, you're just going to flag them and come back to them and then wing them the best you can, okay? And then regarding uh, heart murmur audio questions, look, I do not particularly recommend you needing to practice uh, listening to murmurs. That's not really the concern. What you more or less need to have down is what the murmurs are supposed to sound like verbally. In other words, aortic stenosis. You don't have to be an expert at, holy shit, that sounds like aortic stenosis. You just more or less have to say, okay, well, aortic stenosis would be a mid-systolic murmur, so that would be between S1 and S2. And I have a question on the US simile where... Maybe it's Turner syndrome where we get bicuspid aortic valve and I know to listen for an aortic stenosis if we're moving the stethoscope around. Um, or they say that there's a calcified valve, that type of situation. So the vignette uh, leads you in a general direction of what kind of murmur you should be listening for so you know which uh, site to auscultate. And then you say, well, I know it's supposed to sound like a mid-systolic murmur. So in other words, just know what the murmurs sound like verbally and then you can sort of improvise on the real deal and say, yep, I feel like that's what I'm listening to right now, okay? No overt or dramatic preparation that needs to be done for either the drug ads or the murmurs, okay? You know the deal. I'm going to continue to produce more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.